Hey guys, today we're going to talk about Esper Control by Seth, Seth Manfield. A very creative deck. I have not seen a deck like this in the entire field. Uh, this is probably one of the most unique decks in the top 8 right now. The online version is $357. The paper version is $566. Uh, it's Esper Control. It has one creature and a bunch of Planeswalkers, including my favorite Planeswalker, Narset. And Narset really does extremely well in this type of deck. Uh, she can dominate. Um, she can double your removal. She can draw you into more Planeswalkers. Really good card. Now, it's one creature. That's the really bulky uh, Mythic from Oath of the Gatewatch, isn't it? That's kind of crazy as a one of. Four anticipates four grasp of darkness, which is becoming the premier removal right now. I, I see that in so many different deck lists. Four ultimate price, two ruinous path, two spell, four languish, three narset. Um, narset being extremely good in this deck when you only have one creature. Uh, two dark petition. Dark petition was a card that went from bulk or near bulk to seven dollars overnight, which is very good. It was always good in vintage. Uh, two Jace Unraveler. So here we see uh, Planeswalker Jace making an appearance. One Ob Nicholas. Uh, one Planar Outburst. One Silomagar's Command. And then two Soren Grim Nemesis. So we have new Planeswalkers. We have old Planeswalkers. And this just looks like a bunch. It just looks fun in my opinion. Uh, I mean, at FNM, this looks like a perfect FNM deck. Minus the fact it's like $566, which is an important fact. But playing Planeswalkers is just a ton of fun. It's some unique abilities. It just feels like you're playing a different game of magic. So here we get to the land base. One choked estuary for Evolving Wilds. I was not expecting to see as many Evolving Wilds as, as here. Like there's so many Evolving Wilds. It's kind of crazy. Um, three islands, one plains, four prairie streams, four sambling vent. Vent being a highly, highly good card in any of these decks. Four sunken hollow, six swamps, two Durez, three Jaces in the sideboard. That's kind of crazy. Jace is not main, but it's because he's a creature. Two negates, a transgress, two anguish on makings, one infinite obliteration, two Kalidases. And yeah, it rounds up the deck. It's a very solid deck. I like it a lot. I probably would... I don't know if I have the cards to make it, but if I do, I'll definitely make it for FNM.